All right, folks. Uh, once again, this is Nightmare Twisted Nightmare Gaming. Um, sorry for the bit of the hiatus. It wasn't intentional. Um, having ongoing issues with uh, still with the Wi-Fi at my house. Um, contrary to what we what I normally do, because you know if I'm using my uh, my Team Samurai X1 uh, Blue Eyes Ultimate versus uh, Exodia Matt. Normally I'm out and about, but I'm actually at my house tonight. I just got in. Um, we were actually going to shoot a couple of videos earlier on, uh, but some things happened. So you know, it is what it is. Our emergencies came up, so you know we weren't able to shoot while we were out. <laughs> fix this a little bit here all right there we go so uh contrary to what you may think this is not a transformers deck i just again happen to be for people who know me when it comes to wrestling big fan of villains heels i openly root for the bad guys in most movies i mean let's just face it Heels do it better. Thy kingdom come. <laughs> but uh, no, this isn't a um, <laughs> this isn't a Transformers deck. I haven't actually got into that game yet. This is actually, if you haven't figured by the little pin that I have sitting here, this is actually that Pokemon deck that I told you I I built uh, with the help of. Um, my boy Zach, uh, formerly of West Orange Comics and vi Video Games, and my boy CJ and Alex and a few others. Um, so, this is that deck that I, I so appropriately call Kicking Chicken, Riding Fire Lizards with Fire Snakes. So, let's get it started. So... Starting off, three Charmander. Yes, you know, it's one, two, and one. Uh, two of the 60, one of the 70. I just happen to really like the 70. The 60s are in here for a specific reason, though. Um, then, double Charmeleon. And then double Charizard with Charizard GX. Uh, for all my Pokemon people, you guys know what the effects are. For the people who don't, uh, I may do this profile later with some other people. Again, doing the full explanation, but... If I did this, this would. If I did this by myself right now, sat here and read and read every single, every difference in between the Charmanders, the Charizards, the GX Charizards, and then the other monsters that are in this deck, we'd be here for 45, 50 minutes. And y'all know, unless I'm doing a deck profile with certain people. 30 minutes for a video is not something you normally see that often on this channel. So, I'm just going to move it right along. But, as you can see by the pen and by me starting off with the Fire Lizard. Because, you know, Tarzan ain't a dragon. Which I still find to be completely and utterly stupid. Uh, let's move over to the Kicking Chicken. So we got four torch it and two Blaziken with the GX. And thanks to my boy uh, CJ for getting me the GX one. 
yeah, I know my Charizard GX is a little damaged, but hey, it was the first GX I ever got, so we run we run the first we run the first ever's around here. Um, so in order, if you really want me to put it in order <laughs> for my favorite my top five Pokemon, we we already know Charizard is my number one. Blazing is actually my number two. Um, Mewtwo's number three. Uh, Magmar is actually number four, and um, Snorlax is number five simply because it's Snorlax and he just makes me he just makes me damn laugh. It's hilarious. So, and then to round off the monsters, since we did the kicking chickens, riding fire lizards, I guess that means we're doing the fire snakes now, right? So. To land it to Salazma. Now, for most of the non Pokemon players, you'll see why we don't have the second stage for either one of these two, but we have the one for for Charizard. There's a reason behind that. Um, Pokemon heads would actually know what it is. Because damn near every one of them runs the same, runs that card. Alright, so let's move on to my supporter cards. Run for Cynthia. Is basically shuffling, shuffle your hand back into your deck, draw six. Same thing we say in Yu-Gi-Oh, they say in Pokemon, that they say in Magic. Deck thinning is deck winning. True, Guzma. Because I want to pick what Pokemon you have on the front line. Because I'm going to kill it. Three Kiawe. Because having a lot of fire energy is a good thing. And then two Lily and two Professor Elms Lecture. And the Elms Lecture is the main reason why the 60 HP Chars are Charmanders are in there. And then I believe the Torchics are 60 or 50, and I think the Salanded is. I think I believe the Salanded wasn't too far behind in that whole scenario. If I can ever get to it, Salanded was 60 as well. Yes. So basically, I have targets. All right. So that's it for the supporters. And, yeah, I know I was originally going to wait until I foiled out this entire, you know, reverse hollow foiled out the majority of this deck or all of it. But, seeing as how, um, honestly, I built this deck just because I really wanted this deck. Because it, you know, it encompasses my personality when I play a lot of deck, a lot of different games. Like, most people know in Yu-Gi-Oh, I'm a bit of a troll. In this game... I probably just want to smack the hell, the unholy hell out of you real quick. Um, recycle some shit, and then smack the hell out of you. It's basically what I do. So let's get into the item cards. So starting with uh, the two choice bands. And I believe this is just my general attack boost, yeah. This has uh, the damage added to uh, done by well. If this card is a uh, is attached to one of my uh, Pokemon, it does 30 more uh, damage to my opponent's active Pokemon, uh, GX and EX Pokemon. So uh, to escape rope because you know when you want that retreat, 
and you need that retreat, retreating is a good thing. And fill blower to get rid of any fill any fill cards. And then for the main reason why Salandit and well Torchic, I don't run the the, uh, the second stage Pokemon for both. Uh, Salanded and Torchic is simply because we run four rare candy. So, which allows me to just go straight into it. And then Rescue Stretcher, because you know, recycling is a thing. Um, and then we run for Ultra Balls. And then last, uh, the last item is one, uh, Wishful Baton. Uh, I only run one, I run two copies of one field card. Because again... We like to deal damage to. We don't. We don't necessarily go into my GX Pokemon in this deck. So nine times out of ten, this isn't really doing anything to me. But Shrine of Punishment literally does at the start of each player's turn, thirty damage to any GX uh, Pokemon on the field. So <laughs> and EX. So yeah. And then. You know, you can't have... I don't run a lot of energy because my boy Zach helped me build this deck and he said... And, and same thing with... Uh, and same thing with ZJ. They kind of agreed on this one. With this deck, you don't necessarily need to run a lot of energy because... Um, good old kicking chicken, if he's benched, has this nice little ability is... I can recycle a fire energy from my discard pile, so, to one of my bench Pokemon. So we only run, nine fire energy. And then the last two uh, energies that, that I run are two uh, double, color, uh, double colorless. Um, like I said before, I don't really play Pokemon because most of the the leagues in my area are on days that I work, like today. Well, Sundays. Because more than likely when I upload this, it'll be Monday. Um, so normally on Sundays, uh, West Orange is doing their Pokemon League. I only go over there if I'm on, if, it, if Sunday just happens to be on a day off because trying to do that which ends at 6 and then having to do that and go to work when I still need my sleep if I get sleep is kind of a pain in the ass and then I know I don't think any of the cool stuffs in my area uh, their Pokemon League days are all during the week and I work during the week, so my only days off are Friday, Saturday, so my only normal days off are Friday, Saturday, so if it ain't on Friday or Saturday, it's not going to happen. Um, but yeah, I, I really enjoy playing the deck. Uh, for me, it was probably one of those, I guess you could say, slightly lower skilled decks to get you into the game, but it's fun for me because it fits who I am and it was one of the it was a deck that I could make I can get made have made get help uh, editing uh, that meant something to me I mean I don't play Pokemon very often at all when it comes to the video games hell uh, Lunar Star 10 3 and my my brother Nick can tell you point blank period I may play a Pokemon game once every five to ten years. 
And the last one I played was X and Y on the 3DS. And the only reason why I played that one was because my brother bought it for me. Other than that, I don't play Pokemon. But I had fun, you know, playing this while I could. Um, I might just build another deck or <laughs> I might actually buy a friend of mine's deck off of him and then profile it because it was a deck I was really interested in playing uh, or actually just having because it just looked really fun. It looked like something else that would fit my uh, play style. So I might get that off of him or I might have him profile that whenever I can meet up with him again. Shout outs to you, CJ. Um, congrats on the job, my man. I uh, hope to see you again sometime soon. And uh, uh, folks, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe as always. And hit that bell for all future notifications. This is once again been your boy Nightmare with Twisted Nightmare Gaming. And signing off.